making them. These eggs look so good. What's, What's up, Ben Crib? And welcome, welcome back. back to the channel. <laughs> I heard that there's a farmer's market, so we're about to go hit that up. Because I think I've talked about this a little bit my obsession with tomatoes right now So I'm on the hunt for like freshest tomatoes out there. So farmers market. Here we go. Please lord. Let there be tomatoes We're here. My mom met us here. You excited? You gonna find some stuff? <laughs> Can you be on the lookout for mommy some tomatoes? Awesome. No Where? You found mommy some tomatoes What should we get? I don't know. Wow, that's cheap. <laughs> Wilder found a cup he likes. Let me see. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I got it so I got it so we can chill it. Oh, that's sweet. And my dog. I found some snowballs, so of course. Look at this. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. Gary, try this. That looks like ice cream almost. Whoa. How do they do that? That's so you like it? Right over there. That's a 10 out of 10, I agree. Hazel's buying something. Thank you. Now, which two do you want? Did you buy him one? Yeah, she bought him uh, one. Oh, Hazel, thank you. Look, they got a pink one. Pink? Thank you, Hazel. Look, they got light pink, too. Did you buy that all by yourself? <laughs> wow. Thank you, Hazel. Would you like to buy the bag of blood? These are really good. Hey, Gamalda. Like oh, shoot. It's the next day. Hello. Hello. We did, in fact, find tomatoes at the farmer's market yesterday. And we also found this lady who made mermaid crowns. So my mom and her were shopping away, and they picked this up. And what else did you get? Where's your bracelets? Oh, and then we found this angel bracelet. So cute. I look, it fits me. It does fit you. Point being, it was a good shopping trip. I ran to the store to get a pool. Shaving cream. And shaving cream and noodles. This is like one of their favorite activities ever. I'll show you guys in a minute. Aside from that, though. I'm really excited because Garrick's making them a mud kitchen today and I've been wanting to do this forever So we're collecting like little things for the mud kitchen like this little teapot I thrifted like forever ago and some little cups and stuff to make protein. Yes <laughs> You're so cute. First things first, we're gonna cut the noodles. I'm gonna cut my noodle. You're gonna cut your noodle? Can I try to cut? Can I help you? Ready? Yay! <laughs> Yeah, you can try. Well, Good job. So I'm getting me a... This is like the easiest activity to put together. I want to do it, I want to do it. And it'll keep them entertained forever. Also, it's really cheap. This was like a dollar. Oh, let me put them in. Hey, he can put them in too. I'll give him some to put in too. Okay, you can put that in. And then the only other thing that you need for this is shaving cream. And you can use food coloring. The only other thing you need is a bowl and... The shaving cream and a butter knife. Whoa. <laughs> Can I try? I want to try some. I want to try some. You could try some. Press it down. There you go. Cool. Yeah, I was just going to put it all in here so you guys can just scoop it out of here. Yay. How do you do that, Mommy? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a little inspiration pic of what I'm kind of hoping for for this mud kitchen situation. So cute. We'll see what Garrett can pull together. You excited for your potion kitchen? So only one at a time. You guys can play together. I also ordered another mud kitchen to like go with this mud kitchen. So the one that I ordered comes with like a sink and stuff, but I wanted more sections so they could all kind of play together. I'm excited. <laughs>
look at this, I love it. He made it a little longer like I requested than the one in the picture. This is beautiful. He put this together with scrap wood in like an hour. And it's everything I wanted and more. I'm gonna hang like all their little utensils, get some more little pans and pots, and probably put it up against the fence, but I am obsessed. I feel like I sound like a broken record at this point and I'm always in this bath but the only thing that helps me you guys is the bath and sleep and every day at some point in the day I get a massive migraine and it just like ruins the whole day like say I get it at one o'clock I'm done for the whole day sometimes I've been waking up with them in the morning it's just it's terrible aside from that you guys <laughs> Most of y'all know I posted a picture of my ultrasound, right? And there's been so many people. So many people. That have messaged me and been like, oh, it's this. Or, oh, it's a boy. Or, oh, it's a girl. And I know because X, Y, and Z. Do you think it's a boy or a girl? I think, I think it, I think it might be a boy. What do you think? Mm, girl. Girl. I know you think it's a girl. I don't know. It just makes me feel some type of way. Because, like, I didn't show, but I don't think of the area where you could tell if it's a boy or a girl, I don't think. And I've like messaged a few of these people back and been like, how do you know? Like what do you, like, what do you know that I don't know? So I don't know, depending on what I would believe from the people that have sent me these messages, for example, they've been like, it's a boy because of the nub theory or it's a girl because you can clearly tell. And I'm like, I can't clearly tell anything. I don't know if I like pick who I believe. Is that like accidentally finding out the gender almost? like? I haven't, I've tried not to read them because I don't, like, the point is, is I don't want to know. So the people messaging me being like, oh, congratulations, it's a boy, or oh, congratulations, it's a girl. It's like, either way, like, I don't want to know. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. Some of these people could be, like, 100% right. <laughs> Some of the messages have been like, I'm an OB, it is blank, or, um, Ultrasound tech here, it's a blank. I'm not 100% confident in any of them though because I've gotten mixed messages from everyone, so I don't know, but I don't know. It's just kind of messing with my head at this point. Okay, scratch what I said about headaches. Did I call them headaches? This is like a full-blown migraine. I need to get like some blackout everything because that's what it feels like. It's just booming everywhere. I'm trying to eat something so I don't throw up. I'm like looking at these pictures again, trying to analyze them like you guys were on instagram and i don't know i just don't see it i don't know i guess i mean if the ultrasound tech could see it we could too but i don't think she took a picture of like that area where you could tell and i'm just gonna keep it that way because i will be crushed i like had a feeling that i shouldn't have posted that picture it's not like this like huge thing to me that for you guys to know but like i really did not want to know and i still don't know but just the fact of like everyone being like oh i know it's this or i know it's that it's just, I don't know. Anyways, on that note, I'm going to end the vlog here. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And see you in the next one.